I wanted to talk today about the one thing that you really need to teach your own child. I'm talking about children really about the age between two and four, that kind of very formative age, and a very important age where they need to learn to, to socialise, to get on with other children so they can really develop themselves in a, in a much wider and, and socially oriented way. And really there's one particular thing which you really need to teach your child above all else about that age. You know, I think every single parent would want the very, very best for their own child. And they, they, they work very hard to do that. They want to buy them the best things. They want to give them the best things. And they want to deny them basically nothing. They want to give them the best education. They want to give them the best um, resources. They want to give them the best laptop or computer. Whatever it may be that they need, they want to provide that for them to give their child the best start in life. But really one of the, the most important things that you can give your child is the understanding that they can't always have what they want to have. I'm sure that you have seen, like I have many times, um, a child having a uh, temper tantrum. You know, they might be in, in a shop, they might be in a supermarket, Sainsbury's or Tesco's or somewhere like that, and they say, I want this or I want that, can I have an ice cream, mummy or daddy? And the answer is no. And they, they have a kind of screaming fit and, and they throw themselves on the floor and they even, they even stamp their feet, all that kind of thing. That's very, very common. And you see that in many places. It's that kind of behaviour which, which you really want to try to train out of your child and which um, makes your child rather unacceptable to all the other children and to all the other parents. You don't want to have a child which, when they're, they're coming along the road and you're, you're, you know, the, the, the people facing you are thinking, oh, gosh, there's that awful kid again. Oh, I can't stand them. You really need to teach them how to, um, how to, how to present themselves as people that you know, people want to be with. And really, there's one simple rule to that, one fundamental, basic rule. And I suppose it's, I would say, the most important rule that you could ever teach your child, the most important thing that you can ever teach them at all. And that is the ability to accept no and to accept it gracefully. We always want to give our child everything that they want to ask for. If you give them an ice cream, they ask for an ice cream, you give it to them. Whatever it is that they require, the loving parent will provide it. But the most important thing you can provide is the understanding that in this world and in the life which they live, they will often come across no. And they need to learn to be mature enough to accept that right from a very early age. So if you find yourself with a child who demands an ice cream and if you say no and you see the, the, um, the child having a tantrum, very often you see parents making this fundamental mistake. The fundamental mistake is, oh, okay then, if you're quiet, okay, um, I'll get you the ice cream, okay, you'll be all right. And then they give in. And you know what that teaches a child? That teaches them one very, very simple lesson. And that is that if they throw a tantrum, they'll get exactly what they want. That's what you've inbred into their, into their nature. They understand that if they scream and cry and shout, You'll give way and you'll give them whatever they want to have. Although you may want the best for them, that is not that is not going to be the best for your child. The best thing for your child is for them to learn to be able to say, no, you can't have the ice cream this time. And they say, OK. Then they become adjusted and have that ability to understand that no means no. So whenever you find a child with a tantrum like that, what do you do? The most important thing is not to give in to the tantrum, not to reward the tantrum, not to reward any bad behaviour in order to get you to change your mind. If you do that, you're confirming to them 
that by throwing tantrums and the, the more tantrums they throw and the longer it goes on for, the more likely are they are to get what they want. But if you can teach a child from a very early age that no means no, and that they just accept that, then what that means is that when they come to meet with other children, when they come to play with other children, instead of just grabbing the ball for themselves and someone says, can I have the ball? And they say um, no and keeping it for themselves and the other child uh, doesn't get a chance to, to play. Nobody wants to play with a child like that. And if someone takes the ball and they want to, the, the ball back and they, they say, no, I want to play with it, it's my turn now. You've got to have a child that understands give and take. You've got to understand that the child needs to learn to accept yeses and noes in equal measure and to be happy with that no and to understand as a parent that that is probably the most valuable thing that you can teach your child. The parents who want to do the very best for the child are not the parents who just say yes, yes, yes to everything and try to give them everything that they want. The old term for that is having a spoiled child. And having a spoiled child is a child which doesn't know the meaning of the word no and can't accept it. And if you say no to them, they'll scream and cry until they get what they want. So the lesson to teach your child is to be firm, to set a boundary so that they know that there is, um, they could have an ice cream later. But now they can't, and no matter what they do, no matter how much they scream and cry, no means no. If you can teach them that, then you'll make them not only happier children, but children who are more accepted by their own um, peers, by their own fellow children, and are able to play games in a give and take way. And you'll find you become a kind of parent who's actually given them the best of all. Not by saying yes, but by saying no.